sensitive that once they read it to them, everybody in this room should come away at the same desired state. That's not easy. So if you come with a goal and we all think it means something else, it's not specific enough. Is that fair? Yeah. Let's, just, let's, just, let's just practice. Let's just practice. So here we go. Hold on. We're going to get you. Oh. Man, you can't blame me for not dancing. Okay, so hold on. I see you, baby. I, I see you. I, I see you. I saw, I saw four people so far. We'll take these four, then we might take some more. That's one. Baby right there too. Just hands up first. Who up first? 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 Hold on. Hold on. Organizer. One of the organizers. Leader. What we said, one of the things we must have. Patience. Patience. What's the other thing we acknowledge early on? No one is perfect. Right. I ain't perfect. I'm not intentionally overlooking anybody. But just have some patience with me and keep hope alive. Hey. <laughs> and I see you. I got y'all. So come on. Come on. Okay. Everybody shout your attention. Can I do it this Can you get that door for the <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. okay, this is my disclosure. Okay. Do not judge it based on the fact that you may not be available with the particular program I'm talking about. Okay. We have everybody attention. Okay. okay, our goal is to develop opportunities to build assets for low income residents of Bullock County using individual development accounts known as IDAs by October 07. By educating the community about the benefits of asset building through savings and opportunities to build <coughs> for matching funds. And by working with partners to provide training referrals, the managing the savings accounts, and providing a two-to-one match, two-to-one matching funds towards the individual asset goals, which may include college education, housing, and car, et cetera. Did everybody hear that go? Yes. yes. Everybody heard it go? Is it a smart go? If it's a smart go, clap once. Yes. If it's not a smart go, clap two, twice. <laughs> Okay, let's start. So, uh, I want to say, I want to say, so, if you clap once, tell me why it's a smart go. If you clap once, tell me why it's a smart go. Anybody who thought it was a smart go, tell me why it's a smart go. Okay. One, one thing, it's already in place and it's already working. It's already in place and it's already working. Why, why was it somebody else that think it's a smart goal? Tell me why it's a smart goal. Did she tell us, told us what it was? Mm -hmm. uh, she told us when. Mm -hmm. And she also told us um, how. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she told us how she was going to measure. Okay. And what the action plan was. Okay. So someone else who clapped twice said it wasn't smart. Why? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really get a clear understanding of what it, what the goal was, and I don't think everybody will leave here feeling the same, knowing what the goal is. Okay. And I didn't think. Did you hear the goal win? I heard the goal. And I heard the goal. And I think I caught the time frame. And my understanding of the goal was it was going to be something short term, not necessarily way out there. No. No? Okay. No. Come on. It just needed to be a goal. We didn't say it had to be short term. Okay. Well, I didn't think it was realistic. You didn't think it was realistic? No. Okay. In the time frame that she gave. Okay. Too much. Um, so, cool. Do you think that was a smart goal? <laughs> I do, and I do think it's realistic because something we're already working on. So the time frame I gave is just where we're going because okay. something we're already doing. Okay. I actually think it's a smart goal, folks. It was very specific. Yes. Yes. It was measurable. Yes. It was doable. I heard the real the realism in it and the timeliness because the community is already working on it. And restate your goal for us, and it's long, man. It's very long. It's very long. But I want you now to listen carefully to what the goal is. And just slow down, because it is a small.
want to go. They told us everything they need to know. To develop opportunities to build asset building, excuse me, to develop opportunities to build assets for low income residents of Bullock County using individual development accounts or IDAs by October 07. We're going to do this by educating the community about the benefits of asset building through savings and opportunities available for matching funds. By working with partners who will provide training, referrals, and manage the savings accounts, and by providing a two-to-one matching funds towards what the individual save towards their assets, which they will identify, and they may include college education, housing, or a car. Now, notwithstanding that is long, that is very specific. It's to tell you exactly what they're doing and how they're going to do it. It is measurable because you can determine whether people are actually doing that or not, and it's something they're working on. The bad question. So it's smart. All right, thank you. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Good job. Good job. Okay, go ahead. I just want because what I heard was in addition to goals, I also heard objectives. I heard a list of objectives. I heard a goal and a list of objectives supporting the goal. Okay? And 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 that's and so the goal may not have been so long. Right. It's just that she had supporting objectives right. around the goal. That's that's sure a good point. So you could work on shortening that. The, the, they weren't objectives. What what they were is the goal in, in terms of understanding how the individual development account works. I needed to let you know all of that is in those are not objectives. That's how you do the individual account. If you don't have all those things in place, it's not an individual account. Right. Right. Individual development account. But you still you still can work on shortening that goal. And you don't have to worry about telling us so much all the house because when you look at the house house they are activities that you're going to do which means then they can be considered objectives that's going to help bring about the goal that goal is to sound like to establish those ida accounts you know um using those matching funds or whatever so but you wanted to give it all to it but it is a smart goal even then right. so back here let us hear your goal oh no um, Okay. If you want to do a smart goal, what you're doing is incorporating these three things into the three things that are specific and measurable and actionable. And that's what she did. Yes, ma'am. The goal is that first finish. Yes, ma'am. So, we'll agree to, okay, we'll agree. elaborate. All, all she did was elaborate. Right. She elaborated. Goal. If you only want to hear the goal, mm -hmm. then. Right, and that's all she had okay. to say. So, so can I just stop reading the whole thing? Just keep, just keep working on it, but you got the idea. This is only practice, but we want to allow some other folks to share their goals. But you, you got it, so just keep practicing, working with it. Come on, Miss Matisse. Me. You're on. Come on. Finally. Because we got to get something. Come on. Just a tension about. Okay. That's right. All right. She took our line Come on, come on. Okay, I was supposed to develop methods to educate the community residents about the environmental conditions such as our land, air, water, and soil, and how it impacts the health and the welfare of the residents in the community. And we want to do it by working with and partnering with the stakeholders and industrial uh, facilities in our community for the next year. Is it smart, clap once. If it's not smart, clap twice. Okay, so someone who, okay, so who clap once, who thinks it's a smart, let us hear why you think it's a smart go. I think it's smart because she is working on this environment of the health. And uh, today we are being fed with a lot of things that's unhealthy. In, even involving the, the land that, that grows your product, they put some kind of weed killer out there to kill the weeds so the product can grow. 
but they never experiment with that take effect on the human body 20 years from the day. But all this fast food now is killing us. And all this industrial care about is making money. But all they're doing is feeding us nothing but diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. It is killing us slowly. That's a good idea. Come on, my brother. So, somebody who thought it was not a smart girl, why? Uh, <laughs> she didn't say what community. I did. What community? The outside. Oh, okay. My first day. Let's say it again. I, I want to speak to, to something different. I didn't hear a time specific in there. Okay. So Here's the other thing I want to I want to caution us about, as I hear, SMART is an acronym for something, okay? It says, S-M-A-R-T stands for something. It is a criteria by which you're being asked to go through to determine whether it is a SMART goal. But I want us to be real careful about the language that trips us up sometimes. Because when Brenda say, is it a SMART goal? Mr. Beeman just walked into the room. <laughs> Mr. Beeman doesn't have the foundation that the, the, some of the others may have. And because this is new information, we want to be clear that smart versus dumb ain't going on in our mind. Because we're a product of our environments, OK? And language is important, how it falls on the ear and how it falls on the heart. So I want us to be real careful. Yes, uh, Brother James, it is a smart goal in terms of taking care of our people, OK? But the other thing we, we need to be real careful about, we're talking, using it as a acronym to guide our discussion. Okay. So That's a smart idea. idea. Right. It's a, it's a and, smart idea. And okay. thank you very much for that. And so for those newcomers who came, let's tell them what SMART stands for. What does the Specific. S stand for? Specific. Specific. What does the M stand for? And so for short, we call it SMART. Thanks, Helen. We, we're not referring to the goal is SMART. Time, okay, in terms of that, timely, is that where you put your timeline on? Or timely, in terms of the, the, uh, you know, what's going on? Timely is really in terms of what's going on. Inside your community, inside your organization, inside of your resources, inside of all the work that you're doing, is it time? Okay. And so for, for us, this is just a practice to really make sure, one, the goal is specific enough and it's measurable and it's doable for us. And then those other two, you need to really make sure you understand the context of your community and what's happening inside of your community and inside of your capacity. Okay? So when it's in the timeline in here, like what she was saying about our that that does that have to be in the goal? It, it, it's great if it does because it's very specific. Okay. That makes it specific. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very specific and you clearly leave understanding what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. No. So it, it, it's very nice. Okay. So. Anyway, reach your goal one more time and we're going to move to somebody else. Because it was a smart goal. Oh, really? Just, just read the goal. Okay, it's develop methods uh, to educate the Alston uh, community residents about the environmental conditions, such as our acronym laws, the land, air, water, and the soil, and its impact on the health and welfare as well as the safety of the community residents. And we're doing it by uh, partnering with the industries within that encompasses the boundaries of the Alston community in Louisiana. Okay. And we're doing it with them. OK, I think you added some more to that. <laughs> Okay, come on, honey. Thank you. Our goal is getting more youth involved in after school programs. Is it not smart? Does it not meet the not smart criteria? Okay, so let's talk about it. Why did 
Isn't it a smart go? She didn't say where. She didn't say where. Where? Where? Everybody hear that? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is one of our younger people. And she's very courageous to stand up and read a go, so we want to applaud her. My feeling could just be gas. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. Look, I felt that people wanted to say it was a smart goal simply by the fact she was a young person. Right. Yeah. Now, we're all you know, organizing the leaders, right? We're about transformation and creating effective change. We can't shortchange people just because they're young. We have to help her to strengthen and make this step where it meets the criteria. I felt like people really wanted to clap just because she was young, and that's great. We applaud the effort, the work. It's great. She's on her way. But there are things in the smart that we can help her work with to strengthen it, like you guys are saying. The who, the how, the why. Not that. And we can't shortchange folks just because they're old. <laughs> but it's a great idea because we know she want to get more young people involved in after school programs. Okay, let me ask you something. The only reason why she just, the only reason why she just read just the goal because. I thought that was an instruction just to just list your goal and not, you know, you didn't have to do it by the time I'm on. Read the goal again. Okay, no, we can work together. We're part of the movement, man. We can't get frustrated with each other. Let's get, just, let's just get some understanding. Okay, and let's let her read it again because we got some challenges. Come on, baby, stand up. Let us listen closely again to the goal. Get more youth involved in after school programs. It's a goal. 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 It is. She didn't state the measurement, well, but it's measurable. Hold on. Hold on. This is important. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is important because we said we got to be modest. We said we want to do more than get people to come to our meeting. We want to keep them coming. Yeah. Now, Miss Janice got a whole lot of passion. What she up here saying? But the way it's coming off could really offend somebody. Yeah. Yeah. She, 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 she's, she's trying to force us to agree. Hold on. I'm telling you how it's coming off. I'm sorry. And as you learn, you know that that's not a bad bone in my body. Come on, we're, we're okay. So let's make it. Let's Okay, I heard you. Okay, I heard you. I heard you. Measurable because she stated the goal. If you look, if you listen to the goal and you set in your timetables yourself, you know that you can do this. The goal, her specific goal was simple enough for you to look within it and see that it is also measurable. That it is something you have to take action to make it happen. That it is realistic. It's a situation that she is involved with, that that community is involved with, and they want to see this particular thing happen. And it's real, okay? And it's timely in that they will determine within their community framework what First of all, that it is something that has to be addressed now. Second of all, that it's going to take whatever length of time that they will determine it's going to take for them to meet that goal. If you do not have to specifically say everything that you want, but you have to look within your goal to see if it meets these things. I think the goal was a smart goal, personally. 
If it's in line, you got you wanna speak to that or you ready to do your go? Oh, you ready you ready to move on. Okay. Let's get some that we need to maintain the same criteria for everyone. That is why, as much as we're trying to be kind, and I really appreciate that, we're probably taking it a whole lot more personal than she. Um, it's a great idea. It's uh, sure it's easy to say you're going to get more students, and more means one more, and, and the goal is achieved. But we do need to be specific about in how long is it going to take you, what's your goal in terms of when you want it measurable, and we need to not minimize it and make it great because of okay. age. But I thought the instruction okay. was. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Can she give this? Young sister, young sister. What's your name? It was her group. Hold on. Yes, it's a group. Okay. Okay. It's a group effort. Briefly, it wasn't a smart goal uh, using this measurement. Excuse me. So all we have to do is just help her or, or the group right. to fit that goal That's into this parameter. Right. Right. It's already specific. Just put some time limits on it. To measure, make it measurable, action and more realistic. And, and for example, thank you. And for example, we're gonna move because this is just practice. There's no grades given out here. This is about us trying to practice, work with this, and strengthen it, right? So I'm just offer one example that could enhance that goal. Just, just one. There's many. One example to enhance that goal could be to get 10 more young people involved in an after-school program. I'm just going to stop right there, right? That is very measurable because you're going to measure it by your 10. That's right. So you can gauge progress. If you get two people involved, you know you got to still work towards your goal of getting a 10. That makes it more specific. We really know that your focus is to get 10 young people involved in after-school program, whether it's in you can finish it to do da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da-da, however. That's just a way to just strengthen that, right, to add to that. I think, I think the problem is when you came over and we asked you a question, I think we misunderstood what you said because we had everything down that they wanted, but we misunderstood what you said when you okay. came over and asked us a question. Okay. We have okay. everything that they're asking for. We had it on paper. Okay. Do y'all want to read? Read that. We tore it up. She, she tore it up. Tore it up. <laughs> she tore okay. it up. Okay. So, but remember, this this is nothing to be taken present. This yeah. is us trying to work together to strengthen. Okay. That's our. Uh, I'm a youth leader for MIMS. Uh, we work with Palm Top, Lee, and Panola County, and uh, this is our goal: to educate young blacks to appreciate their culture. Young blacks come from astronomers, doctors, musicians, and singers. In Pontop, if you ain't riding around with big old dubs on your cars, <laughs> and you ain't a dropout, you want to be white. If you don't like, if you don't make an up, you want to be white. We and in Yims and uh, in Tupelo, we want to try to educate the young blacks to appreciate their culture. So that's what we think. You want to you talk to that? Come in. Hold on. Come in, and then we're going to take two more before we go to lunch. Uh, when we do, when we do uh, determine whether it's smart or not, like you were about to do with them, that was helpful to, to tell us the context of how we can meet those things. So if it's something that's missing from there, can we give an example? Because it's really helpful. Because our stuff is usually general, so if you do give an example, say why it's not smart, what could make it smart? They yeah. missed the M, measurable. What could we put there? Okay, rather than walk all the debate like we did in the other one, we can start off doing that. Okay, you know, to do that. very good. So somebody want to share? Somebody want to share that guideline? Yeah, it's a good idea. You want to share? Yeah, I I I see it as passion, um, but I'm missing some measurable. Uh, issues there. I'm, I want to see if he's wanting to make some changes in that culture at, at a by a specific amount of time. Um, I see the action in it. I see his reason behind it. But and it is realistic. But I, I want to work on the measurable goals of it, and I want to work on the uh, the timeliness of it. The timeliness of it is is great. But I would like to see some measurability uh, identified in this goal. Can you read it again? We're going to read it again, and we're going to take one more comment, and we have to move. You need to read the goal. Yes, sir. 
to educate the young blacks to appreciate the culture. To educate young blacks to appreciate the culture. What is realistic? Yeah, it's realistic, and it's very timely because it is something that definitely needs to be done now. But I'd like to see him add into uh, some some measurable uh, timeliness. I'd like to see him add a time frame into that. How many by what time? And I, he identified the counties, the three counties, the area that he want to work in. But I, I want to see some some time frames in it. Okay. Well, can I tell you, Tammy? She hasn't spoken in my city. What would what would be helpful to me is to identify what part of the culture we're going to address because culture is so broad. Right. 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 Did not, now, did that make sense? Uh -huh. Did that make sense? Did that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's general. It's because one of the one of the tests that we want to all leave away is the same desired state. I mean, it really needs to be specific enough where when we read, we know we're talking about whatever. Because is it a hip hop culture? Is it a, you know, where, what is it about it is not appreciated? And I, and I think he did that. I think he, I think he did that, but he didn't list it as part of the goal. Because it went on to talk about astronomy. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't do that as part of it. Okay, one last time. And I do think it's measurable because it's saying to educate. You know what I mean? The no, the action is to educate. Measurable is educating. And so if we took look at it like that, because that's his goal. He wants to educate young black men or black people, black what did you say, students? Young people about the cult. I mean, you know, inform them about. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I think it was measurable. Yeah. By the by, the two words. Well, I mean, it. action. No. The action is to educate. Measurable is educating. If he educates one person, that's educating. That's measurable. But you I mean, can't measure true. that. You can't know whether you attained it if you don't say one or two, because you don't know whether you're succeeding or failing. But the, when I think measure, I think number. If you say I like to educate at least one person a day about African American something like that, then I can measure that. But then if you think about it, I work for the NAACP. Our value is a continuous process. You know what I mean? We don't have a measure because it's, you know, when, when Megar ever got killed, it continued to move on. You know what I'm saying? As Derek is the president, it's going to continue to move on. So it's ongoing. You can't really measure. How can we measure? How do you know? Okay. I'm going to make a comment at the end, but let's give Charles a hand. This is the project. So now we can see this stuff in time and familiar, right? One, no, last one, and then I'm gonna make some comments. Tell us. They were looking for an old meatball to throw. And I was trying not to mediate, but she got dangerous back there. And she's from Louisiana, too, you know. Tell us how to be patient. Come on. Because we gotta eat, teacher. We gotta eat. And I'm thinking that's what it is. Everybody just hungry. Yeah, we gotta eat. I'd like to do mine after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna this, out. this was just a little practice. Uh, our goal is to bring fair housing laws to the state of Mississippi as enacted in other states uh, by 2011 through community organizing, lobbying, and accountability. I'm sorry, can you read that one more okay, time? I'm sorry. Our goal is to bring fair housing laws to the state of Mississippi as enacted in other states <coughs> by 2011 through community organizing, lobbying, and accountability. What about saying? Any disagreement? Any disagreement? No disagreement. Okay. Now we have to go eat. Just remember, folks, this was just a tool and some practice, right? We have goals, we understand what a goal is, but we can always work if we need to to try to help strengthen and enhance the understanding of the goal. So it's just like if you're sitting at home and you're talking to your brother and you tell him, hey, this is my goal, what do you think? And he or she say, I don't understand it. You think it's perfect. And you think he should understand. Nothing, there's no harm in trying to articulate that goal or revisit that goal where your sister or brother may understand what it is you're trying to say or do. So that's it. It's, it was good work. 
It was quick. You didn't have time to really formulate all your thoughts, but it was just to model and show you that these things do take time. You do have to work at it, and sometimes you have to draft them over and over again till you really get it to where you want it to be. Okay? So just a little exercise. Okay? Mike, you want to say something? Oh, yeah. And, and so we're going to break, and we're going to break. That's what I want to speak to. You got to get some. Listen, T. Yeah, all these, I was listening. I've got to say this. Okay. The very first, when I first learned through Southern Echo about grant writing okay. and how to write, the very first, the longest grants, mm -hmm. no money. The smallest <laughs> few sentences, <laughs> the most I got this year. I'm serious. We started that camp with $5,000 four years ago. Uh, industry called me and said, bring us a, 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 a page. I, I outlined four things in the budget. Personnel, uh, insurance, equipment, uh, $20,000, right? Off those four or five sentences and our mm -hmm. two sentence goal. Those long goals writing, I'm not going to get a lot of money. <laughs> Make it short well, and to the point. I'm telling you. Well, 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 well,
I said, go ahead. You, you want to make a nice? Excuse me for a second. Can I have your attention? The training session has been videotaped, and we do have copies. Last night, community organizing, they're ready. And we have the ones from this morning around vision and mission. Goals, they're ready. DVDs are $5 each. All right, so if you'd like a copy, you can see me. What do you see? What do you see if they are? Yes, sir. Okay, I want one. All right. Um, organizing is about relationship building. Okay? About building relationships and then getting to a place where you are honest enough with folks so they can be honest with you. Because When you first meet folk, folk are God. They ain't going to tell you everything. Mm -hmm. nope. Now, I don't know, you know, I don't know about your community, but I know my community. I'm talking about the one I'm in from Trevor Grove, the Trevor Grove community. See, now, I used to tell folk when I was younger, I was from Lexington. And then when folk come looking for me in Lexington, they couldn't find me in Lexington. <laughs> And the reason was for that was because I lived in the country. And, and I got my mail because it said Lefty. And I could just tell folks, you know, I'm from Lefty. And they said, oh, yeah, I know what Lexington is. And I was hoping they never ask me where I live at. Yes, I'm from Lefty, right? So now, this whole question is, folks, you go up to their house and say, well, they don't know you. They don't know you. They just not going to let you come up to their house. Mm -hmm. They quickly say, what you want? Mm -hmm. Now, you need to go head on. They're going to give you what, something where you can go head on and be through. And they'll take stuff from you, but they're going to go head on but you're going to be through and lead their place. We got to be able to be a relationship to allow for us to be honest with one another. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we talk about in terms of some of the fundamentals, guides, and characteristics of good organizing is we got to recognize that fear exists. That fear exists. You know, I'm going to ask you, how many of you in here are, is fearless? Fearless? Fearless. I don't think I'm afraid of You know what you all going to say? Fearlessness is foolishness. Is it <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, no, that's the kin folk. It ain't the cousin. Because kin folk. No, a lot of times it's mama or dad. Because look, I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you why this whole idea about fear, recognizing it, is important. Because I'm going to tell you why this whole idea about fear, recognizing it, is important. And knowing that we all have it. Yeah. I know there was a few of you raised your hand and said they ain't got no fear. Okay. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I ain't going to call you anything. Okay. Because, but, but I want to say this. I want to say this. It's all right to say you scared of something. Right? Right? And, and it's important. It is important to know. What thing you scared of? Because yeah. if we don't know what you're scared of, we put you out there in front of everything. Because that would happen. If you feel this, I'm going to put you out there in front for everything. Because I know the thing I'm scared of. I'm going to never have you out front. <laughs> and, but if, now, if we honest with one another, You gonna tell me that then I not know not to put you in harm's way. Because if I put you out there and you scared of that, and you turn and leave me out there in front, then I'm messed up. Huh? You know, for how, for how I got 
your back. You know what I'm saying? What part of my back you got? Like, you can't see my head. It's gone. They know what my back is. He's mad your back. Somewhere, you know, y'all, we're going to go down there to City Hall, and we're going to yeah. make sure that man knows exactly who you are. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make you know exactly yeah. who you are. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Talking big talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's that? What time are we going? 8 o'clock. As soon as the place open up, we're going to be right sure. there. Right. You get there? My watch fade. <laughs> they say, you know, you, my watch fade. They don't, you know, put the head back, right? And you. 8.15. That's, that's 8 o'clock CP 10. Yeah. Oh. Even if you call people now, they good. Because they're not going to show up. 8.30. See, we tired on one. This is European tired now. Because we cross the seas. We ain't just right here. You know, we we in another hemisphere. So they just like 8 o'clock here, it must be like 6 o'clock over there. Right. So I'm saying, maybe we, we decided it wasn't the right hemisphere. Right. Right. You know, we, you know, rest of the Six hours there. And he's looking, yeah, six hours there, eight hours there, and I'm still trying to find him, you know. Then you get, then you get scared, right? Then you start calling, you know, you, that's why you got them cell phones. You just start calling. Where are you? And call ID? You know, <laughs> and, and they ask the phone. Yeah. No, I don't think no one's <laughs> They ask the phone. You see now, cause you scared of the man already. <laughs> now you know you were scared of the man for the first, you know, you were scared of the man. But these other folks prop you up. Talking a big talk, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> and I hear you still standing out there. Folks want to know where you out there for now. Mm -hmm. Right? What you there for? Why you there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then, then you gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was just trying to check to see what y'all do. <laughs> you, you, you know, you're coming all the way down. Right? I'm, just, I'm just wanna see and I'm just looking around, you know. I, I don't spend a lot of time to see the hall, no one see the hall look like. <laughs> you know, you, you got all everything you wanna talk about then, right? <laughs> But you want to see the mayor? No, I don't want to see the mayor. No, I don't want to talk to the mayor. Soon as soon as, but I, you know, I'm, on, I'm waiting on somebody. You know, and soon they come, maybe we want to see the mayor. Now you got to make the thing. Before you were see it, uh -huh. right? You were see it. Right. You right. know, we even go say, oh, the mayor's doing a great job. <laughs> 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 but y'all just talking about the mayor. Oh, you know. But now you don't wait. It's not 11 o'clock. Uh -oh. uh -huh. And you say, saying, nah, I'm going to have to go get these folks. And then you go start looking for them. Okay. They ain't left time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, no, they, they're not even in the location. They're going to the casino. Huh? They're going to the casino. <laughs> going to the casino, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a better, that's a better gamble than the one that you're <laughs> We haven't been truthful yeah. about our fear. Right. My granddad was a Baptist nun. I put a good one. You know, that Baptist come. <laughs> That's a folk good test today. And my granddad would my granddad would always say, boy, I always tell the truth. Right? I think my granddad was a knowledgeable man, right? But my grandmama was a wild one. She said, be careful you tell the truth, too. That's good advice. That is good advice. I'm knowledgeable enough to tell the truth. 
Calvin. But I'm wise enough to know who I'm telling it to. All right. Right? right. So, I, so I get knowledge and I get some wisdom. And my, I want for my, gra my grandmama for the wisdom, so my granddad would me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, tell him that you broke that. No, <laughs> man. <laughs> work together. You can't do good organizing by rec without recognizing that I'm scared of some things. And I'm scared of some people. Mm. And see, if, you, if you're going to not tell that truth, leave it alone. Don't get me out there in the midst of this thing. And then I find that out by your action. And the other thing is, let's stop trying to make folk be what they're not. Now you know some of them people. That's right. When they were saying they wasn't scared of so and so. Was scared. That's right. They put the S C A R. <laughs> and the P over on the E. They, they went all the way just to the left out one letter and jumped to the B part. You know it. But because you want to see them as something else, because you want to see them in this place, that's the way you talk about it. But you know in your heart that it's not true. But you, you just want it to be true. You can't go on want to be true. It either has to be true or it's not. Truth can only be true. <coughs> if you change it, it's a lie. That's <laughs> it. My grandmama said, just a dressed up like. <laughs> That's why I come about wisdom. She used to say, you know, they're just a dressed up lie, son. She said, if it was nude, it was bare, and it was out there by itself, all naked, let the state of naked lie. So <laughs> <laughs> when you try to dress it up, you done messed it up. <laughs> right? You done messed it up. Because you're going to still try to dress it. You're going to continue to try to dress it. You're going to continue to try to dress it. It's going to get so heavy, it's going to break you drop down through stuff. <laughs> you're going to fix it. And when you're trying to fix it, something's going to be out of shape. It ain't going to wear right. You know how it is. It's 120 degrees outside, and you got on a fur coat. <laughs> That ain't right. Folks know something wrong with that. <laughs> Don't you know something wrong with that? Yeah, something wrong with that. So here, here, we, here we got these, these things that gotta deal, we got to deal with. We got to be honest about the things and the people we scared of. Some folks are just scared of certain folks. There's no need to try to put them in front or your stuff when you know they're scared. And even if you if they can't be truthful enough about it, you gotta be truthful enough about it. And we all know the folks in our in our community who the biggest talkers in the world. But if you ask them to go down there and pick up one thing from the city clerk off. Or go over there and get something from the circuit clerk off. Or the chancellor clerk off. You be waiting around for that stuff till you turn gray. You know, like, you be waiting. Right? Cause they ain't gone. Why are you asking to go? 
Why are you allowed them to raise their hand and say they're ghosts? Oh. Except for if you know that already and you want to empower that person, you say, I'll go along with, with you. you. Right? So you move them from that state of afraid to tell their fear, you know, admit that they have that fear of going, and you enable them by saying, I'll go along with you. So you model for them that you can go down to that city clerk office, get what you need to get, and you survive it. The sky don't drop. And then that person begins, oh, okay. Maybe that would help minimize that fear. You can build the confidence of folks to be able to do things they didn't think they could do. But first, you've got to be able to say, I can't do it as a starting point to say we can work our way to doing this. Mm -hmm. I've got a question for you. You've wanted the negative a long time. How do you... Um, oh, she has a nagging question. <laughs> <laughs> Timeline, a long tag. <laughs> right, that's... S-M-A-R-T, I'm trying to get all right. But the question is how, and that's particularly what I'm looking for out of this particular how do you, you need to how, me? Yes. How do you uh, engage in truth telling without being offensive? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. first place is you can't engage in truth telling with a group of folks. Mm. Because when you put a person inside of a group of folks and then tell the truth on them, that ain't offensive. That 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 that's about to get you dead. <laughs> <laughs> it gets you dead. <laughs> and they may not, they may not, they may not, you know, stab you or shoot you. But you're dead to them. That's right. That's right. For a long, long, maybe how long, forever. long, yeah, maybe forever as a part of the process. Um, sometimes, you know, that can be helped. I, I know where I live in Bullock County, we were having this meeting. They've decided that they're going to create this family focus center really to compete with my agency. Nobody says that, but that's what it's about. And they, they're including me in the process, so I won't be paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting at the table, and they're talking about who all needs to be involved in this committee. Nope. So um, the development authority, the president or whoever he is, says, um, well, I think the people on the committee need to be appointed. Um, and I said, appointed by who? Well, we need to identify a body that will appoint the people who are going to be on the committee to develop this family focus. So I said, well, that sounds like power and control to me, and I don't want to have to do with it. I think it was telling the truth. It was in front of a group of people, but that's what he was doing. And, and, and hear me. What I'm talking about here is when you're trying to build your organization mm -hmm. and trying to build a process. When you go into the powers that be, your only defense and your only offense is the truth. That's right. That's right. The question is, is where are we using it? Strategically, where do you use it? Strategically, how do you build a process with community? Right? Now, I'm going to be honest with you again. I will have a conversation with that person away from the group. But now, my other part of that, if they keep on trying to pretend like they do, mm -hmm. then it's time for you to do that in the group. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because at the same time as you may be dead with them forever, it's better than being dead for real. Because yeah. right. folk will get you killed. <laughs> folk get you killed. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm just being honest. Folk will get you killed. Play and brave. Yeah, that's true. Because all them fearless folks became models. Yeah, that's true. 
They became the one that were dead. Right. And the folk who led them out there were still sitting back in them tents. Exactly. Looking. Looking. <laughs> and saying, one down. Uh, let me find me another one to sit in this place. Two more to go. Right? And I'm not going to be stuck in that type of situation. That was a part of the process. Mike had something. There, there are different kinds of truth power. Even when we're talking about at the initial stages of building relationship with the community, it can be very important in terms of building respect and trust, in terms of what you're about, to be able to speak truthfully about where we've been, where we are, and where we need to go to establish what you are really about. Because one of the questions that folks have, and very appropriately have, is what is your real agenda? And where are you trying to go with this? And what does it mean for me to take these risks? Because if you're not really interested in going where we need to go, maybe I don't need to take risks that are leading me nowhere and are essentially going to be futile futile in nature, but if I think that you're prepared to do what everyone is afraid to speak about doing, I might be willing to trust that you are real. And I'll give you, again, I want to go from abstract to concrete. When we first started doing our work at Southern Echo, we did a tour of all 15 of the counties in the Delta and talked with people who had been active for many years and who had elect elected many of the first black elected officials since Reconstruction. And their complaint was, these folks are treating us every bit as badly as the white folks did. <laughs> they were engaging in some truth telling. And they were also measuring us for where we were coming from. Were we going to slide in behind those incumbent black elected officials simply because they were black, who were abusing their constituents, or were we prepared to take a position for forth an analysis that said how we were going to get from where we are, which they were most unhappy about, to where we needed to go and how we were going to get there? That required a lot of truth telling, and it did create a great deal of discomfort for incumbents. But our way of dealing with that was we brought the black public officials and community people together in the same room so that people could talk to each other and engage in some truth telling about where the distresses were and how everyone together could get from where they were to where they needed to go. And that was a very interesting process. <laughs> All right, right here. Uh, coming from an, uh, uh, an atmosphere of you know, truth telling on a level, like I think somebody was talking about a minute ago, uh, we call it reading you. You know, you, you, something come up and you, you read that person. Okay, uh, going to that other level of truth telling and uh, maintaining relationships, or truth telling and, and uh, continuing on with what your motives are, what your, your goals are. Goals is the word I want to use. I want to tell you about a situation that I was put in, and I want to tell you, I want someone to tell me how I should have handled it. Not, needless to say, I messed it up. Um, I was in a meeting, talking to a superintendent, had the parent group in front of, you know, had the parent group there. And the superintendent, I suppose, to discredit me in front of the parent group, asked, are you getting paid by an organization to do what you do? Well, I had not discussed that with the parent group. I had not discussed that, you know, how we were being funded or that I was a paid organizer or any of that. But that was what he used as a tool of discredit. Well, that made my hair stand up on my neck and I'm, we already in an atmosphere 
he got two tables between us to keep us from jumping over, you know, the, the table to, to get to him. So I'm already in that jump stage. You know, I'm in a jump stage of mine. And so basically what I said to him is, it's none of your business where I get my money from. You ain't my husband. OK, but at the same time, in me reading him, the parent group basically was saying, you mean you get paid to do this? Right. You know, when we, when we go outside. You get paid to do this? And then they start basically kind of dropping off. Uh, you know, no, no one ever brought it up, you know, to, you know, to me again. But, but at the same time, you know, that's, that's how I dealt with him. So, but it, it, it lost, yeah, it lost the parents. Because they were thinking that I am only doing this because I'm getting paid. And so, I mean, it's like, it, what should I have said, you know, in the, in the, uh, two, two things. One, sometimes putting authority in its place, because reading that person also helped to put that person in his, back in his place, right, as, as you saw it, because that wasn't his place to, to raise that. That's one thing. There's a question of making sure that when we're dealing with folk, that we're on the same page and we're transparent. So part of the whole idea is, is that when you're building a process with parents, they need to know that I'm an organizer and I'm working with this organization and I'm getting paid, right? And so part of this is recognizing that when you go into meetings with, quote unquote, the authorities, they're going to always be looking at ways to discredit, to discredit you. And changing, changing the process so that you're fighting against each other or being less respectful of each other than you did when you came into the situation. So strategically, we have to know those things before going in. And so that when we, st when we get in there, those types of things are things that you don't even have to handle, right? Because one of the, you know what would have been beautiful? Is that when he raised that question, one of the parents was saying she worked for ACA and she gets paid as a part of the process and we love her to death because she's making sure that she's bringing us the information that we need to make you accountable. Oh, and then she, then he would have been put in his place. He would have been read, but he would have been read by a whole community of folks. And then it wouldn't have been you inside that process, but it would have been them with you as a part of the process, and you would have nullified that attack as a part of the process. And I'm just saying that, and you would have saved the group process. Because one of the things that we've learned historically is that when we knew those things was going to happen, we made sure that folk were prepared to take the fight. So when there was meetings in the Delta around these initial 15 groups and we were doing redistricting, and then we had folks that say, you know, old heads who had been in the Delta and working on civil rights and human rights for all their life. You know, you know how them old heads get up and say, you know, we tried this 25 years ago. Right? The antidote to that was community folks saying, yeah, and well, we want to try it again. But we want to try it this time, this way, versus when you tried the last time. And what we'll say, the time is different than when you tried it. 25 years ago versus what we're trying today. And so there's this question of making sure that folk, you know, when, when folks say, well, we loaded and ready for bath, they really need to be loaded, right? Because you, you can't go up into places with an empty gun talking about, we gonna fight. <laughs> well, because cause they, they are gonna be loaded. We can't go up in there unloaded as a part of the process. And so there's a question of making sure that folk know what it is when you're going inside of the place. So that information is part of who you are and what you're saying and the type of relationship 
that an open relationship, an honest relationship, a trust building relationship allows for that already to be part of the discussion that you've had as a part of the process. So that's one way as a part of it. Then that with the Mike, Doris, and Joyce. Doris, Joyce. And I got a question, I'm with her. I'm insane, and the quiet woman okay. from New York. <laughs> 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 Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. That's one way. Yeah. Okay. Relationship deal. I'm going to let you know the relationship. I, I agree with what Leroy said going in, but let's assume <coughs> that you missed it, and now you're in it. Yeah. yeah. And so there's the other side of the coin. As soon as you sense, that this is an issue or a problem, you should go and reach out to the people with whom you're working, have a meeting among yourselves, and bring it up and say, I have a sense that this is an issue with folks. Let's talk it through and help people to understand how the other side, how the white folks are trying to use this, or gatekeepers within your community are trying to use this to divide you in order to weaken you, and that as uncomfortable as this issue may be for people, they should not let it control how you see the value of working together to accomplish the goals you're seeking to achieve and work through it, talk it through. Sometimes individually, as Leroy suggested, sometimes in the group, you may have to have more than a few conversations to get everybody back on the playing field, but that's how splits happen. Splits are real, but you need to work the process even though it's happened. And, and, and the, the, one of the clear ways of doing that is, one is doing what Mike just said do. The other part of that is the first one who dropped off is the person that you go to and had a conversation with. Right, first. Right, first one. Right, and then let that one, if, you, if you're if you able to get that person back on team, then they'll move other folk back to the team with you as a part of the process. So, the, so when you clarify stuff with them and get them on the right page, because one of the things is always to say is, why is it that folk always think that if you're doing right, you all do right for nothing? That's right. That's right. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, Huh? Yeah, that's true. Because that's what they do. That's what the white community does. Because my argument is, uh, they want to follow me. Uh, uh, you see, see, see and, 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 folk, and folk are getting paid. And that's what I want to say. See, see part, of me, part of me would have read them different. And the part of me that would have read them was to say, you know, it's a strange thing. You're asking me, do I work for an organization? Do I get paid? I know that we pay you right. for all this wrong that you're doing to my children. That's right. That's right. And I want to understand, since you want to raise these questions, how much are you getting paid? Right. That's right. And how much are you getting paid to do right? Because right. we know how much you're getting paid to do wrong right. as a part of the process. Yeah. And, and so the question is, is being strategic and flipping, yeah, that's right. Right. Staying on the turning, turning the conversation to folk. Because, I, because I'm going to be honest with you, folk, Folks always believe doing good is a free thing. <laughs> but now, when they lay up, what they do, they got a thing that says, here's the character, here's the thing that you want to do in this job. Right? Now, of course, this is all they doing. And what they get paid for as a part of the process. So I'm just saying is that there are the ways to think about these things as a part of it. But sometimes it's experience that drives that. Yeah. Learning. When you're new at these things, you're going to make mistakes. Right? You're going to make them. The question is, what do we learn from the mistakes that we make? Because if we don't learn anything, we're going to continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. Now, we need to move, move on, but we want to take some time here because this is important stuff for folk. Because don't think you're going to be perfect and try to do this organizing work initially. We've made mistakes. Echo has made some mistakes along the way.
Now that's my best, that's my best example of stalls. <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> my best example now. I right. tell you how right. to Talk about not taking, making mistakes, a learning experience from which you grow and build. So, I don't want to take a, a, a long time. But, but it's hard. No, it See, part, part, part of what the deal is, you know, and this is, this is for me, right? I had this whole group of folks in Lexington City Hall, all of us, right? We done practice, we done practice, we read. They loaded, right? I thought I had learned something, right? I, I thought I had learned something, right? The mayor got up, and she's unfanny, right? You know, she's a white woman on the local radio station, you know, and could consider herself, she had this piece that she would do on the, on the radio call on Fanny, with the community, right? And she was really, really uh, a-religious. I mean, she was re religious to her religion. I don't know what that meant, but that's what she was. So she loved to poke the Bible on the thing, and she loved to pray for black folks, call up and pray, she would pray for them. And she was a wonderful woman. And, and so Aunt Fanny got up, you know, and she did, she, you know, Aunt Fanny, she was called Aunt Fanny. So Aunt Fanny got up, she was the mayor, you know, Fanny Coffin, she was the mayor. She got up and she said, you never told me that. You know, I, I thought we were friends. You never told me that. Why would you, why would you just come and we can something, that's something we can handle and you don't have to, you just don't, and I, I tell you what, just, we're just going to stop right now and we're going to take this thing and we're going to deal with it. Come on into my office. Uh-uh. No. We were through it. <laughs> All the morning we had. Enough, but more than that, you gotta be humble enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
to recognize your own fault. And the only the things that you don't have that you need to have to do the things you need to do. And when I learned that and was able to say that to them, it didn't open up the process where they were then able to say, you know, when she said that, I should have stood up and said, no, no, this ain't about our family. This is about our war deal. This is about police brutality. This is about all those issues that we were bringing to her to deal with, right? This is about not having enough black folk on city council mm -hmm. because y'all and gerrymandered the wards, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Those were the things we had come there to deal with her on. And we didn't, because she took us away from that other part of the process. Uh -huh. But when we came back and had the opportunity to have that conversation, right? Because I, I took the risk of saying, I'm going to pull these folks back together. They took a risk to come back together. Right. Yeah. After they had, we had got whooped. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a jig of whooping. <laughs> I mean, what did she do with y'all so? What was the problem? Huh? What was the problem? What was the problem? What was the problem? What was the problem? When we came back, I didn't ask no questions. She was new. She took them in and she examined them. She took them. She took them to a place where it was about them and her. And, and the religion, and being good and sweet, and understanding, and if they had a problem, they know they always come to her and she'll pray with them about it as a part of the process. And, right, and, they, and then all that decent and in order. You know, it, it's that decent and in order thing that, that baffles folk. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know, but you know, I'm going to say this. Let me say this. It ain't just Baptist folk who, when they, when they, when they religious, <coughs> the first thing they said, we, we, we always want to do everything decent and in order. Mm -hmm. And they ain't never figured out what decent and in order is. <laughs> we ain't define what decent and in order is. But now they define, and decent and in order never ask them any questions right. that they don't want to ask. That's right. Mm -hmm. Then you being decent and in order. And that's the same for black folk who in power. That's right. That's right. That's right. Same, I, I ain't, this ain't just white, this ain't just, right. just, just white folk. It's not the black folk who have been trained by white folk, they are in order. They are decent and in order. They are in order. The prime word is They use religion to control. And, and, and it was there. It was there. And so you got to be able to do truth telling about it. Okay? She took them in there and it took about five minutes. She had broke them down. And when they came back out of that room, they sit up there. And they were just meek and calm and humble. And they didn't say nothing else about none of them things. Nothing. Because that was the culture. I had my five minutes on high. With the man. With the man. In her office. In her office. Uh, she felt good enough about the situation to stop the city council meeting and have that meeting with us. Who did they choose She loved it. I, I just want to say the opposite of truth tell. I was like someone, we're a government group, we're a group that fight the government. And we put in our brochures, we do not accept government grants. Leroy, you know we did that. Uh, I don't know how this happened, but EPA put in the paper, after they couldn't get us to take money, they put in the paper and announced it on the radio to discredit us, saying that we were going to get a $150,000 grant from EPA, my phone's lit up, and I had to explain to people who we were, that it was in our mission statement and in our bylaws. It was in our bylaws that we are not to accept government grants, so don't be on edge. But the thing is, it can be the opposite of something that uh, a lack. <laughs> And that's all it is, the, a Rick, that 
someone can put out there on you can almost devastate your organization. And we didn't even, we weren't even getting paid. Shoot, we, 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 we Lord have mercy, we got $150,000. We would have whooped DOD all the way up to the Pentagon and gave them a new, gave them a new, as they said, something else. So it's, it's, it's two different scenarios where, like, you was put in a predicament to try to embarrass you. They used to stand up. All they after is money, but we could fan that little thing. All we got was ten thousand dollar grant, and all it was for paper and uh, telephone bills, and you know telephone bills had. So we had records to show that we wasn't accepting money, and the EPA couldn't do it. So they put another lie out in a Memphis flyer and said we had reached pay dirt. The, the, this boy that's running name forward for senator had told them they going to give us a clinic. For I have, we done won the battle, which was another lie. Which that, and these lies, just like the truth, can hurt an organization. That's, that's all I have to say. Right. But that's, that's, why, it. it's, that's why it's important to do something we talked about earlier, and that's broaden your base of support and being transparent with your folks. Because yep. the opponents are always going to try to use what we call a military strategy on us. Mm -hmm. Identify us, mm -hmm. isolate us, and destroy us. Yes. And the way they're able to do that is when your base don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you got to organize and educate your base and be transparent, engage in that truth test, and let them know what's going on. So when they hear that or they read it, it that, it don't faze them because they already know the deal. Yeah. They study. They well, study us. That's that's right. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Every time you go to an EPA meeting, okay. Wait, 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 wait. The quiet, the quiet woman from from Louisiana came <laughs> quiet. <laughs> no longer. Now, as soon as she said what she got to say, then go go to Anthony because okay. it's new, yeah. and and we want to give new people opportunity. <laughs> right. and, and I call her new because you know because he know he ain't that new. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious, I'm serious. This is why we need this type of training. Because I can identify exactly with what the sister is saying. And we get it so much in the community. Those of us who feel like we are truly providing true leadership from our heart, these are kind of process that you get thrown into. And I see it every day. That's why I can identify. Although then when we need to be educated as to how to properly as a group and a community to be able to communicate because they use this and I know exactly what she is saying. You want to protect your community and just like Brenda said, your base, but on the same, at, at the same meeting, when you are confronted with these people, this is when all these crosses come. Just like she said, and then the group wants to know first, all of them worry about how much money you get. And when they find out if there's, uh, I mean, just with the truth teller, because I'm always the first one to say, this community work is not free, and taking your time is not free. But when you uh, have your neighbors in there, and everybody in the community, the first thing they want to know is exactly what she's saying. Uh, I'm going to find out how much Sharon getting paid for this. So it brings a division <coughs> in your community with yep, your people as well as it. I, I'm saying this is a very strong topic we need working on. And, and let, me, let me say this as a part of the process. Sometimes, and we tell folks this, part of what has to happen sometime initially is the same thing that Dara said. We was we helped Dara them to figure out, and we helped Dara them get that first that only grant that they had. Okay, and, yep. and that's one of the things that we do. We make sure that you know we try to help folks to try to build a process to get them yes. where they're trying to go, right? And we don't we don't we don't we don't quit qualms and quass about it. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folks don't like that mm -hmm. because they don't like to see other folks and they want you to have it all. And we say, well, we don't want it all, and then they get they get the hot with us because we say we don't want it. Mm -hmm. Right? They get angry at us because we said we didn't want it as a part of the process. You know, and so, so the question becomes, sometimes 
you don't need to pay nobody. You need to make sure that all your stuff gets taken care of. That's right. Right? So if you make a call for the organization, the organization pays you for making that call. Right? So that so that everybody's on the same footing in the initial setting. And as you build that setting, then somebody is gonna have to take away from doing their job. And it need to be this job is the only job they should have. That's right. Because somebody's gonna have to be doing it all the time. Because if you wait just for volunteers, you ain't gonna get none. It just won't happen, right? It just, it just, it just, it just won't happen. And, and 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 it's not. This ain't about anti-volunteer work. All of us do volunteer work, right? All of us do. There's some work that we do all the time. There ain't nobody never gave us this kind of work. And there's some work that we do that we're going to get work paid for and we don't get paid for. That's volunteer. Now they can fucking say whatever they want, but we were volunteer slaves for a long time. You know, as a part of that process, because we work. Yeah. Because we didn't get paid for that. We were working. Now I know. But, but, but you must have been volunteer because we didn't get that vote. But you were right. So, so what you're saying is that that's, you know, if you if you if you listen to how folks play this thing, I tell folks, word is a king. Oh, yeah. Show we, 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 we say that stuff that sticks and stone may break its bone, but word would never hurt me. That was a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It was dressed up. That's why it was dressed up. But it was a lot. I would rather hurt the naked truth <laughs> than these words gonna kill me. That's right. Gonna right. well, get me thrown in the in the river, Mississippi River. Mm. You know, as a part of the process. Way. At least I wasn't aware I know what I was going into as a part of the process. Right. So we need not to get caught up in that as a part of the process. We need to be a little bit clearer about that. And okay. Thank you, Dior. Okay. Uh, much respect to everybody, and I'm so glad uh, I was a part of this process. And I know I'm new. But I find out uh, we're working with young people, with PTSA, in any group of any community, their facts, their feelings, and their opinions. Yeah. <laughs> what we get played on, and I, I wonder how Southern Echo can help address this, is that her emotions came up. And, women, and we're emotional. And so that's we act out. I learned uh, a course I was taking, and I watched politics after someone told me this. I watched C-SPAN. Uh, two different men will argue each other's point. They don't attack that person as a person. They attack his point. And they go get a beer out of it. And they pass bills like this, or they don't pass bills. Mm -hmm. How can we, when we go into a meeting, it's like, you know the meeting's an hour. It's not it's 30 minutes to an hour. <coughs> Why my kids ain't got textbooks? Well, ma'am, we don't have textbooks because it's in the next. When I, and she, she really wants to vent. But that hour is not really a vent session. Mm -hmm. That hour is to, to figure out the search, whatever's, whatever's on the document. Mm -hmm. That's what you stick to. But we as black people, everybody want to give an opinion. And then we, and, but this is, this is part of growing the process. We need to set some meetings to let some folks vent. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me, let me, let me be very, very clear about this. Yeah. Pressure will bust a pipe. You don't have no volcano explosion to get the pressure build up. Now, you, can, you, you know why they had a tsunami? Because the pressure didn't come out the top. The pressure came out the bottom. And when the pressure came out the bottom, it created more problems than if they had a hand out of the field out of the top. Because if they had a field out of the top, wouldn't have been the same people who died. Would have died. Now, we'll be some folks who died. As a part of the process. But that went underneath. Okay. And when it came down underneath, yeah. it created tidal waves right. that killed <laughs> no, millions. There, there, there was a million people who died inside of that process. So what I'm just saying is, is that we need to set up some processes that allow folks to vent. Right? Because they need to get something off of their chest. Now, Here it is. I'm not saying that every meeting is a meeting where folks pull be chest up, right. right, and then not. But there has to be some opportunity 
for folks to do that. Now, sometimes the best way to do that is have a meeting before, right. before the meeting. Right. 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 And allow for that meeting to take place so it don't necessarily have to take place yeah. at the meeting. That's right. Right? right. Now, but also I'm going to be truthful about this other part of the process. Sometimes there's a folk ain't going to be satisfied when they tell some folk what they want to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> right? Until they read it. Right? That's the truth. And if you got one of them people in your group. We just can't be that person. The person who leading the the person who organizing the process, I ain't saying that they didn't lead. The person who organizing the process needs to be able to frame it. Because sometimes you need for somebody to go off on somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. At the meeting. Right. At the meeting. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. To set the framework right. for the meeting. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because sometimes, sometimes you got to holler at authority. You got to scream at them. You got to call them some names. That yeah. folks don't want to be called. Okay. Okay. And so you got to say that in order for other folks to be able then to say the things that they need to say. And, and, and some folks don't, ain't going to deal with that. Right? And you say, well, you messed up everything. Well, if it was one of those things, and, and, and you have to make a determination, strategically make this determination, did it help your work? Did it help your work? Right, strategically did it have to work? Because if everybody's scared, and they think, and they think I'm Fanny, ain't gonna let them go to heaven no more. Because you know the, the prayer of the righteous. Right. That's right. And white folk must be right. That's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, you know I need a <laughs> But you know, somebody, somebody got to break. Somebody got to break it. And once it gets broken, then you come to a place where you can really then set up a meeting where the real stuff can take place. You're right. But you gotta, sometimes you gotta break this barrier that's right. mm -hmm. that prevent folk from doing what they need to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes one brave soul who's gonna be the bad person, mm -hmm. and they may be a bad person for the, for the rest of that lifetime. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you gotta be willing to take the death gonna be important. Mm -hmm. And y'all can't throw that person away because the organization didn't have to say to that person, Right. Yeah, all right. That's right. That's true. That's true. I say that. You are backbone. You a reader. You know, you are backbone. We gotta have you. You, you are backbone because you were the one who broke that loose for us. You know, my granddad said there's people who got gristles and there's people who got backbone. And if you got gristles, you've been all the way over back. <laughs> You can. You, all you got is this, you can't break your back. Because you just bend, you know, you just bend all the way back. And, and, and you never stand for another time the wind blows, you going back. You going wherever the wind blows. Right? You ain't got no place to keep, but as a part of that process. So, quick question. Who watches? So, who plays that role and watch the clock and say, well, yeah, they've been living. We got five more minutes and they haven't addressed. And but the other people. Yeah, that stuff carries. They were so calm, and they, they let you argue, and they sit back, and they get theirs carried. Yeah, that's what I'm saying.